Hi and welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to be tackling the shuffle string problem. Given a string s and an integer array indices of the same length, the string s will be shuffled, and the indices will tell us which uh, which let uh, which character needs to go in which position. So we just need to return the proper um, string. For example, if this was our input, because this one's pretty simple. So if we had this as our input, you'll notice that this indices says three, meaning that this is actually supposed to be in the third position. You see it's in the third position. I is supposed to be in the first position, so you can see I here. O is four, so you can see it here. H is two, so you can see it right here. And then N is zero, so it's in the front. So all we ha uh, so that is the first example. We also have A, B, C, but this one, it's already in order. So you just return A, B, C. So let's actually see how to code this. What we're going to do is that we're going to create a character array. And this character array is going to have everything in order. So that all we have to do is turn that into a string to return. So let's create that character array. So let's call it error. We're, oh, whoops. Um, char r is equal to a new char array, and it's going to be the size of the string length. Oops, and I need some parentheses here. So this is just going to be the length of the string because the, uh, the string's going to remain the same length throughout the program. Then we're going to create a for loop. And this for loop is going to iterate through every indices so that we can put the, the string characters in the right position here. The for int i equals zero. And I don't think you can use a for each for the example that I'm showing. So indices dot length i plus plus. So all we have to do is find the array position. So array of something is going to be equal to something. So what is this going to be equal to? So what we're going to do is that we're going to see, oh, wait, this is number three. So in that, uh, in that um, char array, in the third position, we're, uh, we're going to put that character. So this is going to be indices of i, indices of i. And we're going to put the string s char at i. So again, what does this mean? What we're going to do is that we're going to say what number is at indices. Let's say it's 3. So then we're going to go to the third position of array, and we're going to put the character there, because that will put everything in order. And then all we have to do is return string dot value of r. And what does what does this do? This just create it takes this char array and turns into a string. So that's just a really easy method. Also, if you wanted to, want to be lazy, you can remove these parentheses. So let's test our program. Let's run it. I already created the test case here. And this is the second example because this first one's pretty straightforward. And you'll notice that we do get the correct string. If I put, let's say, wizard, oh, it needs to be, and let's add the last one to be five. If you run it, we have this weird mixed up string. So I hope that this helps you learn how to just work with the rays, just help you get the hang of it, just some nice cool tips with characters and strings. And if you learned something, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below of what you want to see next. See you next time.